Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got, of course, our trusty old Kronos here. This is basically pack fresh. We just opened it and took out a few bolts to get ready for our modifications. But a lot of you guys always say, you know, you got, you know, Xbox, you got all these Kronos. Why aren't you upgrading them? And you know what? You're right. We want to go ahead and upgrade these things because we know a lot of you guys have the Kronos out there. And there are so many decently priced upgrades for these, like a T-handle, a door delete. They got the small dart modification. I mean, there's a list. And we figured, you know what? Let's upgrade a few of these and, and not try to break the bank, right? Maybe later on we'll do some major upgrades to it. But for now, let's just upgrade it a little bit so that shooting experience will be a little bit better. And what we went ahead and did is picked up, of course, the worker um, T-pole handle here. It makes the whole priming mechanism so much easier to pull. Now, you don't have to get this in aluminum, but if you guys can hear that, well, something like this. <laughs> Anyways, it's a nice, hard-built piece. You can get it when it's 3D printed, but I felt like uh, it probably just couldn't hold up. Over time, it was probably going to break. So I figured, hey, I'll spend the $9 and get the aluminum one, and this thing is probably going to outlive the actual blaster. Now, of course, you can pick up the door delete too as well. This is about $3. We picked up both of these for $15, $17 shipped, which was awesome. I mean, for $15, bucks, you can definitely upgrade this blaster to a lot better than what it was. And you can get these, again, in all different colors um, that fit like your color scheme. I figured I would stick with the black because I was like, well, the black goes well with our red version of the Kronos as well as our Phantom Corpse version here. Now, we've already upgraded our red one, but we wanted to do this pack fresh one right here. You can see I literally just opened it from the box and took the things out so we can do that. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to modify, of course, this uh, the back so we can use the actual T-handle here. And I've already taken the uh, the screws out here. I got one just pending right there, but essentially going to sit like this on the back, right? And how it first comes. And you're essentially going to, this little kind of hole right here, you're going to Dremel out or you can clip out. It, there's so many ways you can do it with clips or a Dremel. Uh, I don't really like using the uh, the exacto knife there because it's, it's a little sketchy, but you're just going to open that up a little bit more so the base of the handle here can fit right in there and can be pulled right through, which is awesome. Real easy fit, and the door itself, you can actually almost get away with not having to break this thing all the way open, just open it enough, take out the old one, put in the new one. So they should be fairly easy updates to do that again, aren't gonna break the bank. So let me go ahead and get this hole drilled out right here and uh, show you guys. Oh, and before I, before I zoom ahead, yeah, you will be missing pieces. I don't wanna say missing pieces, but you will be replacing some pieces such as this right here. So this is no longer gonna be needed. That of course is the D primer or you know, the D prime D lock. So that's gonna be left. And then of course that little hole right there is gonna be dremeled out. So let me go ahead and dremel that out. Let's show you guys what I did and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so after a little bit of trimming, putting it back together, a little bit of trimming, putting it back together, it's gonna look something very similar to that right there in the back, right? Nothing too crazy. Now, here's one of the crazy things is that we had another Kronos where this actually wouldn't even fit on this back. This bottom piece was far thicker than uh, one of these. So just, you know, if you guys run into that, just kind of let me know. And, and I'm just kind of curious if I was the only one, but I did cut a little more extra on the side on an accident, but hey, you can only get it so close, right? And that's gonna work perfect. You just wanna keep trimming it a little bit till you can get it to fit right in there. Oh, and that's gonna be a way better priming mechanism than what was on there before. So before I put that back on, we wanna go ahead and open this top up. Now, this all we're gonna do is just re do, re take out this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and we're gonna try and wedge it open, and it should be able to wedge enough. We were able to do it on our other blaster, so we should be able to wedge it open, knock this orange sheep out of there, put this piece in, and be good to go. You shouldn't need to take apart the whole blaster to kind of wedge that open and get that little uh, bar out of there and put it back in with the door delete. So I won't bore you with that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in and take and show you kind of what it looks like here real quick. All right, so just that easy, guys. Again, I went ahead and took off this, this, and this bolt right here. And then again, you're able to see that comes apart. You're able to just wedge that apart pop out that little kind of uh, bar that goes across, pop this out, pop that one back on, and you don't have to take apart the whole blaster. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all these back up, throw back on my T-handle. We'll take a quick final ooh, quick final review of what it looks like, because again, this is a quick and easy upgrade for your Chrono. So let's go ahead and throw this all back together, 
and uh, take a look at what it looks like at the finished product. And there we go, right? I mean, all super easy to go back together. We did again, we did the three bolts. We went ahead and just put this back on with the three, with the uh, six bolt or the five bolts, four, four, and the one. And that's it. I mean, again, a very easy upgrade. You don't have to take the thing fully apart. A little bit of grinding in the back, but that's about it. And look at that. Man, that looks super sick. Again, I love the Phantom Corpse. I figured, you know, I'll black it out a little bit more. And man, I'm telling you, this T-pole makes, makes that prime so much more easier. I mean, gosh, that it just feels so, so much more easier than cocking it back here. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it, you know, for around $13. Again, you guys can customize the colors and all that stuff to whatever fits you best. But I figured, you know what, for 13 bucks, this is something that really almost everybody should be able to do. And again, it doesn't require you to explode the blaster and have parts fly everywhere. It's pretty much uh, take off the handle, do a little trimming, and that T-piece is installed. And then this right here, just take off the front three, wedge it open a little bit, throw this on top, and you're good to go. Look at that, that's awesome. You can go ahead and throw some of those in there and just go instead of having to flip it off. And again, you could always keep these pieces later on if, I don't know, you wanted to sell it and you really wanted to throw your stock pieces back on, except for the T-pole, right? You have that big hole back there, but still, I think that looks awesome for a super cheap upgrade. So there you go to some of you guys out there who is like, Xbox, why have you never upgraded your Kronos? Hey, we updated one of them. Well, we showed you guys we updated one of them, but we do have some more upgrades that we are probably gonna do for some of our Kronoses we have. Um, just because again, I think it's kind of cool. We don't want to go too crazy, but we do want to do some upgrades to this that we think that everybody out there in the Nerf community should be able to afford around 13 bucks in a little bit about 10 minutes worth of time. Go ahead and upgrade it yourself. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have cool Kronos projects you guys have done, leave it down in the comments. I would like to go check those out and maybe leave you a cool comment or so. Anyways, thanks again, Fox fans, and definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already.